Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Lefty and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about IRL streaming and how to stream on your iPhone. So this is all you need to stream on your iPhone. I made three videos on my second channel a few months ago and they've been doing really good and I wanted to make an updated video. There is an easier way to stream and this is strictly for your iPhone. I will be making a Samsung version when I do get back to Miami. I'm currently in Maryland with Ash. I don't know if you guys know, I've been streaming for a lot of big streamers and I've learned a lot the last eight months. So my last tutorial was eight months ago and it's been doing very well. Now in my last tutorial, I mentioned that you guys need two phones if you want to stream on the iPhone. Well, I got great news for you. You actually only need one. Prism Live has gotten very advanced and it's allowed us to pretty much use the chat and TTS with one phone. But if you guys are gonna choose iPhone over Samsung, I would 100% recommend Samsung because of their app called IRL Pro. So I'm talking about the gear you need now. It's very, very simple. You know, you don't need a lot of gear anymore. By the way, all the gear that I'm gonna be talking about today will be in the description as well as my other three tutorials on IRL streaming. So just so you guys know, I also don't wanna focus on things that I already talked about in my last video. So I recommend you guys watching all my videos that I've posted about IRL streaming for you guys to really get the knowledge I've been putting out there. This video is mainly targeted towards the iPhone users. I got this new tripod by the way. It is a Joby tripod. I got a nice little JBL clip speaker for TTS. If you guys are wondering, you know, I think I got this from one of the comments. If I did, I'll pop it up. For me to use mics and charge my phone, I needed to use the MagSafe charger, which works perfectly okay it's amazing i love it i've streamed five hours six hours and it's been at 100 percent only powered by this anchor is the best portable charger brand so definitely get yourself an anchor try to get 80 watts you know this one i think is 65 so 65 to 80 watts is what you need to go for so you can charge your iphone while having your mics plugged in i do recommend getting the, the road mics just because they do also sell a very small road mic to iPhone. If you guys have been keeping up to date with me, you guys know I've been streaming for a lot of streamers. So I've actually gained a lot of knowledge and I cannot wait to share it with you guys in this video. I'm going to put this all together so you guys see how light and portable it is. All right, as you guys see, this is a very light setup that I literally can stream for hours. You know, my portable charger goes right in here and I can put my wallet and my phone in here as well. And if you have a filmer, they'll be wearing this by the way. We have our mics, our mic bag, a charger if you guys need it. But look how light this setup is. It's a lot more compact than my first setup. Um, you can have the, the chat on your screen, which I'll be showing you guys how to put that on. So yeah, this is, this is the setup I've been using the last couple months and I've been dying to make another video. So the app we use is called Prism Live and this is the best IRL streaming app for iPhone. All right guys, we're gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys IRL Toolkit. I'm gonna sum it up very quickly. If you guys want more in-depth IRL toolkit information, I have multiple videos linked down below. And guys, I can't stress this enough. Please, if you're going to IRL stream, but I 1000% recommend it. If you guys are starting off, 130 bucks a month is the minimum you're gonna be paying. 130 bucks a month is a lot, you know, but it is worth the investment, especially if you're gonna be doing IRL streaming a lot and you don't want your phone to end the VOD and start it again. And the main reason that you guys want this program is for virtual OBS, which you can have overlays, stuff like that. And your streams will never crash if your internet isn't working, your service is kind of bad. It won't crash. It won't crash the stream. It's starting off at 130. Now you can buy more ingests. So if you have two cameras, you get two ingests and then you can switch from both angles, right? If you want more destinations, that's so you can stream from Twitch, Kick, YouTube. So if you want to stream on multiple platforms, you need to buy multiple destinations. So there's a feature where if your stream crashes, it won't go to a connecting screen. It'll go to old clips that you put together. So if you need that, it's an extra five bucks a month. Once you buy IRL Toolkit, you will have to wait probably a day. But the first time I bought it, it took over three hours for it to finally get, give me a server, or give me a login. And then you go to IRL.run, which is going to be your server. This is pretty much the dashboard for IRL Toolkit. You are in. This is the dashboard as you see. You can see all your scenes right here starting soon. BRB, ingest, which is the phone. So the ingest will be this right here will be your phone. So the first thing I wanna go into is destination, guys. This is a very simple. It is pretty much where you're gonna be streaming from, right? So as you see, you can have multiple destinations. If, if you guys can't afford this and you have a friend that also wants to IRL stream, y'all can split 
the cost and have multiple destinations and then just you just can't be live whenever they're live so if they are all streaming you can't IRL stream, but whenever they're not streaming, you can stream. So if you guys have a friend that want to work a deal out where, oh, I'll stream this time, you can stream this time, and then y'all can just share the same IRL toolkit, which is smart. I have some friends that do that as well. So let me explain. So the destination is pretty much your stream key for your certain platform. So if you have Kick, you go to your Kick stream key, and you pretty much put it in. As you guys see, here's my stream key for Kick. So pretty much you put in the server URL and the stream key, you put the name, and you put save. Boom. And now you have this. And if you're sharing accounts, just make sure that they're not both enabled at the same time. But like I said, if you guys want them to be both enabled and stream on multiple platforms, you will need to pay the extra 10 bucks a month to get multiple destinations at once. You can have multiple destinations, but they can't be enabled at the same time unless you paid for it. So before we get into the OBS, part of the video I do want to show you guys how to connect your phone so we can just go and order so the next part will be about connecting your phone in just into toolkit okay this is how we're going to get our phone ingest into IRL toolkit let's go to ingest real quick on IRL toolkit and we go to RTMP as main ingest right boom we have our URL and our stream key when you first open the app on prism you want to click this little movie button right here and you want to click to add ingest or RTMP settings, right? So as you see, you have the stream URL and the stream key, which is right in front of you, right here. So you wanna just copy the URL from IRL Toolkit and copy the stream key from IRL Toolkit and pretty much paste them right there, save. And now, when you save it, you're able to go live in IRL Toolkit, but you are not live yet, all right? This is the best part. You can preview your IRL toolkit without even having to go live. So you can see connection, you can go on, on OBS, virtual OBS and see how it looks, make sure it's all running smoothly. This is where it can get tricky. So open remote OBS, so go to in the ingest settings and boom. I have five stars settings right now, but it's all good. I wanna show you guys how to put overlays. So a lot of people get confused. This is just like OBS, but it's a little different, right? This is a virtual OBS, so you gotta actually virtually put the files on the program itself. You click these little three dots right here on the side, boom, and drag your files. You post your overlay, so, you know. All right, so once you have your overlay, you double click it, and now you can find it. So now that it's uploaded into the virtual OBS, so you go to file, correct? You go to dependencies and you click unnamed PNG, boom. And now you have your overlay. It is not gonna be on your PC, guys. You can't look at all your files on your PC. You have to post it and you have to upload it. So a lot of people don't know this and they get confused and a lot of people have DM me about it. So I hope that clears a lot of questions up regarding overlays now i know you guys are probably wondering about tts the the chat box all that stuff that's actually going to be done on the iphone because whatever's on the screen will be on your stream all right so now we're going to show you guys how to get your chat box for your kick kickbot is actually an app where you can use you can get your widgets for your chat box your alerts and ai tts so for time purposes i'm going to keep this very short and simple um, if you're on Kick, I recommend Kickbot, and if you're on Twitch, I recommend Streamlabs. But pretty much get your chat box, your alert box, and if you guys have TTS or donations, whatever, get that link as well. So once you get to the main screen on the Prism Live app, you swipe over, right, you swipe right, and you see My Studio. So as you see right here, you see a widget icon, you click the widget icon, and you click Web, right? So now, the URL, in the URL, you will be putting in either the chat box URL, the alert URL, anything that you want on the screen, even free TTS or even donation link, the link will be going there, then you put the title, boom, and you click save. When you click save, you will see it under my studio, it says alert box, bot ricks, AI TTS, chat box, alerts, all that stuff. So then you make sure you click them, you can move them around, as you see, make it bigger, you know, and then, Scroll again, click that one, boom, it's on there. You move it around wherever you want. And pretty much you gotta just keep doing that until everything you want is on the screen. So whatever you put on the screen, it will show on the stream. I just wanna say, 
you helped me so much with my setup because I'm going to start IRL streaming soon. Hey, this guy, incredible. Make sure y'all pay attention here. Give him a like and shit. Oh, okay. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> All right. All right, buddy. Oh, what? So you're going to pay me for that? Oh, yeah, guys, I have paid him 20 bucks. I was thinking another way. So pretty much now you have everything set up, right? You have your destination ingest. Um, you have all your overlays ready on your phone. You you did do your overlay on the virtual OBS, and now you're ready to start the stream, right? So all you gotta do now, but you have to click that button right there, and it's going to start the stream, right? So you go to the ingest preview, and as you see, you even see already on here you have my kick. Counter. I have obviously zero viewers. I'm not live right now. So now that we have everything set up, all you gotta do now is click start on IRL.run. And then if you wanna end, don't end here only. Right? If you end here only, it won't end the stream. Okay? So you gotta stop the stream from IRL.run. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not have seen my last three videos on IRL streaming, please go watch them. They're very informative. So if you guys wanna learn more, link down below and in the comments as well. I'm gonna link my playlist. Also, you know, just so you guys are aware, people have offered me money to uh, help them set up their IRL toolkit. I would rather just make these videos for y'all and y'all enjoy them. Now, I'm not monetized on either of my channels. So if you guys wanna help me out, you know, make these videos and continue doing content full time, here is my cash app right here. Even just a like and subscribe will help out. You know, if you don't have any money to help out, it's okay, I understand. You know, I'm just saying, cause a lot of people have been asking, oh, I wanna pay you to hop on a Discord call or something. And you know, I feel like just making these videos will help out everyone in the long run. And if you guys want to give a tip, you know, go for it. It's a lefty YT, but I'm glad that these videos have helped a lot of you guys. You know, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below. I'm going to answer them. You know, I try to answer as many questions as I can. And look, I'll be live whenever I can. So if you guys want to check out my kick, that'll be awesome as well. And if you guys have any questions and I'm live, just go ask when I'm live and I'll answer right then and there. And if you guys want to help in any way, you know, you can just subscribe or even donate. It's up to you guys. Um, I just want to let you guys know I've not made any money off these videos because I'm not monetized. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.